I mean, there's really not much to say. This is going to be a short video. In-house movement, five days of power reserve and 10 years of warranty. And with its great looks, the Auris Aquas Caliber 400 rolls over any of its competition in this price range. On Auris's website, they're not exaggerating when they state that they are setting new standards for dive watches. This is the best dive watch. But is it for you? Let's see. Auris. I mean, it's not the most thrilling name or watch brand, is it? It is named after a river in Höhlstein, Switzerland. Not even like a big, powerful mountain river. It's kind of like a small, small creek. But anyway, to the Auris Aquas. I mean, today I told you that this is the best dive watch. I'm only referring to the stats that you can't argue with. If you don't like the looks of the Aquas, it's obviously not the best dive watch for you. But if you look at the stats, there is nothing else that competes on this level. The Oris Aquas has become a very popular watch for the brand and they have tried out many variations of the watch with GMT functions, chronographs, they even have a very cool watch that is able to measure the depth you are in when you are diving and you even have a very ingenious moon phase indicator on one of their Aquas models. Oris was actually a very big brand before the quartz crisis in the 1970s and 80s. They were among the 10 most producing watch brands in the world and they had more than 800 workers. But during the quartz crisis, just like many, many other watch brands, it got bought up by what would later become the Swatch Group. And it shrunk down to a few dozen workers and completely stopped their in-house production of new movements. But in 1982, they were brought back, they changed their management and became independent again, which was a great choice. And so while Oris is not the hottest brand, it's definitely coming back. They have been introducing many cool iterations of their very popular Oris Aquis and Oris Pointer Date. And they also resumed their production of in-house calibers. And last year in 2020, they introduced the incredible Caliber 400. Like I said, it's an in-house movement, five days of power reserve and an incredible 10 years of warranty. And again, let me remind you, five years is the standard and almost no other brand goes above that. And this is a very, very heavy proposition, especially at the price point of 3000 euros. First off, the fact that it's an in-house. In-house movements have gained popularity lately for a few reasons. One of them being that the off-the-shelf ETA and CELITA movements are getting more difficult to get your hands on. This is because ETA is now completely tied up with the Swatch Group, so it won't supply ETA movements to any other watch brand except the ones in the Swatch Group. And CELITA being busy with all the other watch brands already because of the same reason. But also in-house movements are gaining popularity because people are enjoying it more and more. Because let's be honest, mechanical movements are not the best choice if you want an accurate watch. Which means that the people that do want mechanical watches really have a soft spot for this mechanical aspect and they don't just want their mechanical watches to have an off-the-shelf movement that many other watches have. In-house movements are very costly to produce but they allow you to make a movement for yourself for the watch that you envision exactly like you want it. But let me tell you, there's nothing wrong with an ETA or CELITA movement. These movements have been literally tested in millions of watches and have been tweaked and improved over the years and they are incredibly reliable. And more importantly, if your watch has an ETA or CELITA movement, any watchmaker can service it, which is more flexible, cheaper, and takes less time. But nevertheless, in-house movements are a very cool thing, especially if in this case you can look into it through a see-through case bag. You know, it's just something different. You just see that this watch has an individual movement, an in-house movement that looks different from any other movement out there. I mean, granted, it's not the most beautiful movement, but it looks great in my opinion. And it allowed Oris 
to put incredible five days of power reserve in the two barrels, as well as guaranteeing you 10 years of warranty time. Now, to be honest, just because they guarantee 10 years of warranty doesn't mean they are convinced that the watch will run well for 10 years. I think this is kind of a bet that Oris is willing to take, either because they really, really trust in the movement they make or because they want to gain popularity with some sort of marketing stunt. But nevertheless, that shouldn't bother you because you have the 10 years warranty. It might bother Oris in seven years because they will get a lot of watches sent in that need service and they will have to pay for it. But not only on the inside, but also on the outside, the Oris Aquas impresses with its uniqueness. I mean, they didn't reinvent the dive watch here, but they do have a few things that set them apart. If you look at the case, it is quite refreshingly different from the usual case shape. It has this kind of slope to it. And also the crown guards are kind of screwed down, which gives it a very robust look. Moreover, if we look at the bracelet, it is a usual three link bracelet, but they didn't cheap out on it because we have uh, actual screws, not just pin sleeves holding the links together. And in the clasp, we have a quick extension, which is also very nice for this price point. And if we look at the dial, it has kind of unique hands and indices and beautiful sunburst dial in different colors. And also a date at six o'clock, which looks great in my opinion. So speaking of which, let's look at the contenders in the 3000 euro range. And it's a little difficult to find watches in the exact range. And to be honest, almost all don't compare with these stats that I've just mentioned. So in-house five day power reserve, 10 years warranty. But let's just see what could be another option for you. So first of all, you have the most popular one, the Tudor Black Bay 58. Although if you want to stay closer to the Auris Aquas price, you're gonna have to go with the NATO strap because the bracelet costs a little more with 3,400 euros. And the Tudor Black Bay 58 has an impressive 70 hour power reserve and a regular five hour power reserve and a regular five year warranty, which is all great. And if you like the looks of the Black Bay 58 more, then that's the one you should go with. But I'm just saying, you can see that these watches just don't show the same specifications. Then you also have the Longines Hydro Conquest. If you want to go to 3000 euros, you can have the black ceramic version. The other ones are almost 2000 euros less expensive, which is surprising to me. But if that's what you want, the Hydro Conquest is a very cool dive watch. It also has an impressive 72 hour power reserve and regular five year warranty. If you like Tag Heuer, then the Aqua Racer is an option for you. It only has 38 hour power reserve. And again, like all of them, regular five year warranty. If you want to go all tool watch, a very sturdy watch, then Zinn Easy M14 is the watch for you. Zinn basically makes the toughest watches out there and they still look great. It is made of titanium. It has an incredible 1000 meter water resistance and a little lower three year warranty. I couldn't quickly find the power reserve, but as it has an ETA obsolete movement, it should be uh, 38. It should be between 38 and 48. So, but that's already kind of it for this video. If you like the looks of the Oris Aquas, then let me tell you, you are in for a treat because this watch is almost like no other in its specifications. And I mean, it's not difficult to like the looks. It's not outlandish. It looks like a regular dive watch with some unique twists to it and an open case spec that is nice to look at. You might disagree with the fact that this is the best dive watch, but this is only about what's on paper. If you don't like the looks of the Oris Aquas, it doesn't matter if it has a thousand hour power reserve. This is just to show you that Oris Aquas is an incredible proposition, especially for the price that it's in. But that's already it for this video. If you stuck around until now, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like below, leave a comment on what you think could be a contender that holds a candle to the Oris Aquas, or let me know if you think it looks hideous. So see you next time. Ciao.